Hey, what's up y'all, it's Blaine Fajoda. In this video, I'm gonna show you the different cook kits that I bring on my trips, whether it's by myself or with another person or with a small crew. Um, if it's an overnight hike, a two-day hike, a three-day hike, or five days in the backcountry, these are the cook kits that I bring. Of course, there are many options, um, but these are the ones that have been working for me the past few years. Starting from the left, I don't bring this out as much. Um, it's more of a specialty, luxury uh, piece of cookware. It's a skillet, nonstick. I bring this out if I'm coming up, you know, if it's a short trip where we're bringing out steaks and beers with the fellas or, you know, if I, if I just feel like cooking steaks um, or eggs in the morning. The utensil that I, that I have kind of nested with this is, is from Ikea. I got this as a set and I kind of just trimmed down the edge just so it can fit here. And that sits here. Um, if I do bring this, I put this on the bottom of the, my pack, kind of give it some structure to the flat, flat bottom. The next uh, cook kit is, is, is funny. It's actually the, the cheapest and this was my first cook kit. I got it from Target and I watched a bunch of videos and I typed in uh, on the internet, cheapest cookware for backcountry hiking. So I'm like, hey, you know what? This is the one to go to. This is from Stanley, the, the tool company. Um, it's, I got it for $24.95. Now you can find them on Amazon or even in stores for $14.95. Very cheap. The cheapest of all, all of these, uh, these cook kits. On this, it comes with a lid. A strainer lid, you can see if you're cooking pasta, if you need to strain out the pasta. This did, this did come with a hard uh, green plastic uh, tab, but I kind of tore that off because it makes it hard once this is over the fire, as you can tell. It's hard to get off the, the lid. So what, I, so what I did with this is I put a key ring and I, I can easily pick it up with a stick, especially, I mean, it really gets hot over the fire. Let's put that to the side. Inside comes with two of these uh, cups. It's, it's a little bit heavy, um, but it's good if, if you are hiking with a partner, you each, you each can get a cup. This nests inside here, and it comes with a second cup. Each of my cook kits, I kind of want to um, pack one of these because it helps wipe the moisture, helps you pick up the pot or cup, um, and kind of cleans in the inside. So you can boil your water in here for your food and drinks, um, and you have two cups to serve it in. This right here is kind of like a homemade uh, windscreen. If I am taking one of the, the stoves and I'm using it with this kit, it kind of protects it. 50 cents, I think, from the dollar store. I just cut up the bottom of a, a pan, a pie, a pie, a pie pot. So this goes in here. This fits in with the lid. If you do want to use this to boil water, you have cups to eat, drink your drinks with, but you need something to eat your soups with. So I got to cut this off with some plastic containers. There's two of them in here. Doesn't add any ounce. Cook kit number one. Total this 1495. I got to refer to my chart because there's a lot of numbers to be thrown out here. And I also put uh, all the info down below in the link. So check that out also. Uh, total weight on this, just under a pound. Just, you know, when you start backpacking, you're gonna wanna be uh, weight conscious. But I didn't know that when I first started hiking. The next kit that I bring, um, it's a two piece. It's from Vargo Titanium. These are both the titanium models. This water bottle weighs in a, a few ounces, uh, 3.9 ounces. This is waterproof. This one is $85. Titanium top, top. This is the bot, half bottle, half cooking pot. You're in this, and the total weight on this is 4.5 ounces. The cost, 100 from Vargo.com, VargoOutdoors.com. But you're wondering why would you spend $100 on something where you can easily spend 14 bucks on it? Top weight. It's made of titanium ex except for this gasket. Durable, lightweight. Uh, this has been to the top of Mount Whitney um, and many other rocky hikes, um, even out here on the west coast or the east coast where you know you're banging around the trees. 
this pretty much just sits on my, my waist pouch or on the, on, the X, on the back of my pack and it, it means it's been banged around. You can drop this on the rocks. Um, the most you can do to this is probably scratch it. I mean, you can see there's plenty of scratches here. You can put this on fire if you want. Back to the bot, B-O-T, half bottle, half pot. The great feature about this, which you won't find anywhere else, is you can actually store your liquids in here, your, your, your actual water that you're gonna cook with, sealable, and it won't spill because of this, this gasket here. So it serves dual purpose, your water bottle and your boiling pot. Once you got the water in here for your meals, you can just throw it straight on the fire um, or cook kit, cook stove, and then cook. This actually has, has a lid, and this is about, uh, let me see, just a few ounces that you can store in here. This is 32 ounces. What is steaming to help speed up the process of cooking, of boiling the water? Put this lid on here. Fits perfectly. In this little chamois wipe, that I use to clean or pick up. Protects my long handle titanium uh, sport, also from Vargo. So pretty much, I would bring this setup if I'm doing um, a lot of lightweight hiking where there's no water available for my overnight trip because I would store my water in here and my cooking water in here. This can, so you can fit your water, you know, for your lunch, breakfast, dinner. Um, for your dehydrated meals, and that's pretty much what I bring with this, and you can get it from you know, different brands. This long sport handle can fit deep inside and give it a mix. My next one is kind of like a joined form between two different models. Um, this is from GSI Outdoors. This is a Soloist. In the Soloist, it has a little diagram. It comes with the outdoor pot, and it shows, a, shows you how you can nest um, your fuel, your stove, your utensils, and a and a little pot that you can eat out of. Let's take a look inside. This does have a rubber kind of like outer covering on the handles. You can see it, it got a little too close to the fire a few times, almost melting off. Has a strainer lid, holes where you can strain your water for pasta. A little suede pouch that comes with the collapsible sport. As you can see also, this has been too close to fire. In here, I try to keep everything self-contained. Everything that I need to cook um, is gonna be in here and eat. So I got my utensils and then I got my cooking stove. The stove that I use is the MSR Pocket Rocket. It's the newer version. The version that came out right before this they did fold down, but the size was about this one. Then you can tell if it's a newer model because it folds in like this and then swivels down. So you can see how small it is. And it also comes with a little like igniter to set off the flame. Inside here is some fuel. I mean, you don't have to get the MSR brand, but there's so many brands out there. You can find the non-name brands even at Walmart. It does fit, the screws on. In this Soloist, it does come with an, a little bowl that you can eat out of with a koozie. Sometimes I don't even use it because it, it gets food drips and so I, most of the time I actually take it off. And in here, you can boil your water in. If you're not an REI member, I would suggest you sign up. It's only 20 bucks for a lifetime. You get dividends off every purchase that you, that you buy online or in store. Uh, I'm not an affiliate or anything, I'm just saying it's a good deal. And the main thing is you get access to these garage sales that are only open to members in the back of their store, I mean, throughout the year. Um, they have special sales on used and new gear. So this is about 40 bucks. This is the GSI Outdoors Minimalist. It comes with this, the koozie, and a used tencel and a lid. I was in San Fran, I stopped by an REI on a recent hike last year, and this was on sale because it was missing the lid. This guy, I'm like, well, if I'm drinking a cup, I don't really don't need a lid. So instead of, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks full price, this came down to three bucks. You cannot beat that deal. Three bucks, so sign up. It's only 20 bucks a year. 
20 bucks, one price, lifetime, for the REI membership. So this cook kit has a place to cook my water in, a place to eat my food out of, and something to drink my drinks out of. I like this setup here because it has everything and it nests perfectly from the pot, my cup, my mug, my bowl, my fuel. All right, we'll put that away for now. The kit that I use the most uh, for all of my trips, where I'm not really counting you know, ounces or a pack and light or ultralight, um, it doesn't really matter for most of my trips because I'm lugging around camera gear anyways, is this cook kit set up here from Vargo. Also titanium, lightweight. Total cost on this setup is uh, 70 bucks. Total weight, 6.6 .6 ounces. What it comes with is a boiling pot and another plate, another piece that you can also cook or throw with a fire um, and also acts as a lid, which fits perfectly on this. This is about, this will hold about, I think, uh, let me see, 13 ounces. What I do with this is if I'm cooking, if I'm boiling water here, I really don't want to, you know, cook my eggs or vegetables or sausages in where I'm cooking my water. I use this guy. As you can see, it's, it's been used, been on fire. There's not any really char or like on the outside. Um, this is probably from old olive oil sausages got burnt up. I wasn't paying attention while I was cooking. So it comes with the lid, which acts as a closing lid as well. And this is the bottom part where I boil my water. Comes out with these handles, which are good. It's not anything close where you can kind of burn your fingers, so it kind of holds out here. And this is 30 ounces. So plenty of water, plenty of water that can fit in here enough, or more than enough that you can boil your, your ramen, your soup, your dehydrated meals. In this Ziploc bag, I like to keep everything kind of contained so I won't, I won't lose everything else around the camp, on the campsite. The Vargo titanium stove, I'll get more in depth or you can check out one of the videos on this. I'm not gonna go too de in detail about this stove. Lightweight, also from Vargo, titanium. You can use the Esbit fuel, fuel tabs or you can use fuel. What I do, denatured alcohol. In here, you can, get, you can get a big tin can for like four or five bucks from Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store. Or if you're traveling or you're doing any through hiking where you, especially where you can't, like me, you can't fly ever with this. You can't ship your pack ahead of time. So you just kind of want to like, when you get into town, you just want to buy fuel for your stove. You can get them uh, from any gas station, heat the heat, H-E-E-T, same thing. And also my little igniter that I use to ignite the fuel. And in this chamois that I have here to kind of clean everything out once I'm done cooking is my Vargo titanium foldable sport. Eat my food out of. So you can see there's a variety. You don't have to have all of this. You can actually get even cheaper options, cheaper stove options, cheaper cooking pot options. I mean, there's tons out there. There are more, some that are even more expensive. But these are the different cook kits that I bring on, on, on the trips uh, when, I, when I go out in the, back, in the back country. So if you have any questions um, about why I chose this, how much, where's the best place to purchase it, how much does that actually weigh, I'll send me an email or post down below so you can ask a general email and just in case, ask a general question. That way, just in case anyone else has the same question, they can kind of see the response to it. But again, thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, staying along with me. If you haven't, subscribe and please like this video. All right, see y'all on the trails. Peace.